Hello, welcome to sql02pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'll talk about equality and inequality conditions. Okay, so in previous tutorials, what we have done is we have understood the the whole structure of the where clause. You can use one condition in where clause. You can use two or more conditions in where clause. Conditions could be separated by logical operators, and condition itself consists of expressions uh, separated by uh, comparison operators all right so one of the comparison operator is equality can uh, operator and another one is inequality operator okay so they are called if, if these operators are used the conditions are called equality and in inequality conditions so although they're pretty simple thing where I just want to uh, you know show you some examples then the real game will start in the next tutorial okay uh, so equality condition is expression is equal to expression and one of the expressions should contain the column name or one or more column names otherwise uh, it's not going to be too much of a meaningful uh, condition okay and inequality condition is uh, expression is not equal to exp another expression so this exclamation and equal to sign means not equal to in oracle okay and uh, this is true for SQL and or PLSQL and some databases use uh, uh, like some different sign for uh, for not equal to and that sign is less than and greater than sign together okay but uh, this is what uh, Oracle uses anyway so let's log in I want to show you some examples um, you have used equality conditions like tons of time before as well inequality might be new for you but both are very simple things so we're not going to spend too much time uh, in this tutorial uh, sorry always forget uh, mix up my user IDs here okay so I'm just going into Oracle Express SQL SQL commands so let's see what we have here in terms of data we created a table called employee in previous tutorial okay so like if you have been asked to show the records for employee 2 and 3 so you're gonna go ID is equal to 2 or ID is equal to 3 we okay, note this I or or sign here because we want to see both records. If I put and, it's not going to bring anything because there is no rec rec record where ID is both two and three. Okay, this is not possible because ID could be either two or it could be either three. So if you want to use and, there must be some other column names here. Okay, so if you want to see both records, ID two and three, then you must go ID is equal to two and ID is equal to or ID equal to three. So I just selected the whole thing and Control Enter. Uh, same thing as clicking on run button here so you see two records here okay both two and three now uh, this is like equality condition and this is another equality condition okay now you want to see all the records where and you want to see everything other than person 2 so you're gonna go where ID is not equal to 2 there you go so you're seeing everything other than 2 now you want to see everything other than 2 and 3 so you might want to use uh, you will be using and logical operator here to separate the two conditions okay uh, because or won't mean anything in this uh, context so see you now you are seeing everything other than 2 and 3 okay or will b bring like illogical result and that must should be the whole table okay see so be careful whenever you're using a not equal to most likely uh, if you're using tons of not equal to like one and two or maybe more than most likely you want to use and if you are using equal to equality uh, conditions then they must be separated by or most likely okay it all depends on what you're trying to do uh, okay so that's pretty much it so here we are seeing everything other than 2 and 3. So I see you in next tutorial where we are going to talk about more complex things. Okay, So the real fun will start in next tutorial.